Hi, it's Stacy. Welcome to my live show. I just want to tell everybody happy Friday. It is finally here. The end of the week is here. We have the weekend to look forward to and enjoy. Today I wanted to just talk about how to have meaningful relationships. So many people, you know, um, struggle with getting close to people. So I had put together some actual tips on how to actually get closer and build more meaningful tips. I mean, more meaningful relationships. One of the things I came up with was how to be happy with yourself. Now I said to myself, okay, how, how can you actually be close to someone if you're not ha happy with yourself? In order to be happy, um, in order to have a happy relationship, you have to be happy with yourself. And if you're not sure what in life is pulling you down, then I would say make a list. Make a list of 10 things or 5 things or even 3 things about yourself that makes you sad, that pulls you down, that, that, that you're unhappy with. And then set up some short-term goals and some long-term goals to actually improve yourself and to improve your level of happiness in life. Because we only have one life here on earth. We might as well make the best of it and do whatever we can to put those little tweaks in so we can actually have a meaningful and happy relationship with ourselves. Therefore, we give that happiness to others. The energy gives back to the universe. Also, learn to listen and understand. A lot of times we, you know, I'm even a victim of this myself. Hey, FK, how you go? doing? I actually, sometimes we do the talking and we talk and talk and talk. We're talking about ourselves, what's going on about ourselves and this and that. And, you know, we forget, you know, to be listeners. A lot of times people don't want to always hear about what's going on in our life and they don't want to hear about you're doing this and you're doing that. Sometimes people just want you to listen to them and to be understanding. And, you know, that really actually helps the relationships, whether it be with your partner, whether it be with a friend, you know, it's, it's better to be a listener than to always speak about yourself. And that really brings closeness in relationships. Hey Josie, how you doing? What, tell me guys, what makes you feel like you have meaningful relationships? Is there anything that you do that you feel helps you build a meaningful relationship with people? Or is there something that you're struggling that you wanna share or a question, maybe you wanna shout it out? Love to hear it. And also, also follow up. When I say follow up, a lot of times we get so busy and caught up with our everyday life that we actually forget about the people around us that mean the most. A lot of times, you know, just by picking up the phone and saying hello to somebody can be so meaningful. You know, time goes by so quickly on a day-to-day -day basis. Hey, Mountain, how you doing? And we tend to, you know, before, when we wake up, we get busy with our responsibilities, things we've got to do. Before you know it, nighttime's here. And then weeks go by, months go by, time just flies, and you haven't spoken to people that actually you had such a great time with, you know, in the past. So why not pick up the phone? Or why not you send, send them a card and say, hey, how's it going? You know, I was thinking about you and I just wanted to say hi. Things like that actually can do a lot for relationships. It could actually rekindle the relationship. You know, if you haven't, you know, a lot of times, did you ever have where you haven't seen someone in ages? It could have been even years, two, three years, and then you guys meet up maybe at a party or an event, and it was like you, you, it was like you saw each other yesterday. You just picked up where you left off. So sometimes it's great just to take some time out and just pick up the phone and say hello to somebody that you care about. Also, you know, uh, find common interests with people. A lot of times you might like somebody, you might think, you know, they're a great person and you just, you're having trouble communicating, you don't know how to start a conversation, you don't know how to continue the conversation, but you like, there's something about this person that you really like and you want to develop a friendship with them, you know, or even someone that you want to get close to on more than a friendship relationship. Find some common interests. What are things that you both like? you know, what are, you know, and start focused on those things and, you know, start talking about those things that will energize the conversation. It'll make you guys feel closer and, you know, you'll start to develop this relationship that you didn't even know existed. 
and also to you know take inventory of the relationships you have sometimes we're always looking to find new friends and we're getting bored but you know what sometimes the best friends are the ones that are always around us and sometimes we take that for granted so sometimes we have to like, look and we have to like look at the relationships around us and actually have some gratitude hey Veer, how you doing uh, you know, what, what do you have, you know, that what helps you in relationships? What makes you actually feel uh, to develop a more meaningful relationship? I want to hear it. And so, you know, a lot of times we have to take like, you know, inventories of the relationships we have. We have to be, you know, call them up, you know, people that we haven't spoke to in a while and, you know, and just rekindle and rekindle those friendships. Because like I was saying, sometimes the people around us, we tend to overlook them and, you know, time goes by and those are the people that we actually, you know, can get the most enjoyment, satisfaction from. It's just keeping those old friends alive by spending some time just to rekindle those friendships. And also, you know, don't worry, um, don't wait to be asked for help. If you see someone, if you don't wait to ask someone for help. If you see somebody that you know and you see them struggling, reach out and offer some help, you know, or, you know, maybe just do something nice for the person just to show that, that you care, that you're actually there for them. You know, sometimes people, you know, don't like to ask other people for help. You know, we all, I know I, I don't like to ask for help and there's times where I did need help. So, you know, a lot of times it's a really great thing to just do something really nice and reach out for somebody and just do something really nice for that person. And, you know, that things like that actually could help a relationship. It could help, you know, um, you know, really bring the closeness together. Because when you do something nice for a person, you'll be so surprised how grateful that person will feel, uh, you know, and how it could actually make the relationship and the friendship so much closer. Because people don't forget that when you're in time of need and you need help, whether it be something simple or something difficult, when someone reaches out and helps you, you know, those are things that you really appreciate and those are things that you don't forget. And that's what keeps a very close common bond between people. And, you know, learn to trust people. You know, a lot of times people have trust issues. You know, it could be because something that stemmed in the past when we were growing up. It could be something traumatic that happened along the way. There's so many different issues that could cause trust factors. But sometimes we have to take a chance and we have to just trust people, you know, and, and, and just go with our inner instincts and, you know, and be able to actually trust somebody. And then, you know, as the friendship develops, you know, you feel it out. You actually, you know, you could tell if the person's a good person. I always say body language is great. If the person's talking to you with compassion, if they're looking you in the eyes, if they hold, if they, you know, say hi to you, do they give you a compassionate hug or do they give you that, oh, so nice to see you. You know, you could feel who, who we really can trust and maybe someone that might be a little fake, you know, even by a handshake, you know, if a person has a, like a, a handshake where they kind of put their hand over you, you know, these are signs that people actually, you know, want to be the domineering person or they don't, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they feel they're above you and not equal to you. These are all little things that you can take into effect. But, you know, if you're, if you have always had problems being, Hey, glamorous, how you doing? And, you know, if you've always had trouble where, you know, you've had trust issues in your past, you know, let it go and just try to trust individuals. You know, it's, it's, it's important to actually be able to trust people because that's the only way that you'll be able to get close to people. And if you know you have trust issues, maybe it's time to consider coaching or maybe even speak to a therapist or go to a support group to help you get over those humps because there's something in your life that's causing you not to want to be close to people and not to want to trust people. And in order to have a happy, fulfilling life, we need to trust. We need to put trust in others. And that's a big thing. And then, you know, to be clear on what you want in a relationship. When you're in relationships, whether it be a, an actual relationship or even a friendship, you know, be clear on what you want from this relationship, you know, and don't like steer the person on. You know, if you just want to have a casual relationship, if you just want to see the person once in a while, if you don't want to be close and you see that person really starting to attach to you, you know, put some boundaries, boundaries and say, you know what? 
I just, I'm just looking for X, Y, and Z. Right now, I'm not ready to have any of these close relationships. You know, I, and, and you know what? Boundaries, as long as you, oh, you're welcome, Glamorous. Thank you so much. Glamorous just said that, you. Yeah, thanks for the motivation and the purity of my heart reflects on our talk. I love you, I love you, Glamorous. You're awesome. You know, and, you know, a lot of times, like I was saying, you know, it's okay to, you know, to, to, tell people what you want in a relationship to give boundaries because you know as long as you say it in a nice way you could tell anybody anything and you don't have to insult the person it's all it's all about your tone and your voice and the way you say things you could tell someone you can give people boundaries you could tell people what you don't like and what you do like what you want and what you don't want it's all how you word it you know and being considerate and being you know and knowing how to show respect that's all people want that's the main thing people want respect and appreciation those are the two key factors of having a strong friendship or relationship is being respected by your other person and by being appreciated because you know people don't mind going out of their way for other people as long as you you appreciate what they do and you show them appreciation and as long as you respect them and you respect them for who they are and you're not judgmental and you do those things and I guarantee you will have a successful relationship. And also I want to, you know, you know, be understand what you're really being asked. If a person is, you know, sometimes people can talk to us and they're not being clear and you don't really understand what the, you know, what they're trying to get at. And sometimes, you know, it's okay to say, you know, you know what? I, I'm not really getting what you're trying to say, you know, um, maybe you could be a little clearer, you know, because uh, I understand that you're, you're, you know, you're looking for this or that, but I don't understand how, you know, exactly what you mean. Can you clarify that, you know, what you're trying to tell me right now? Because I'm just not getting it. And, you know, and just do it in a nice way because, you know, sometimes people, you know, ask for things or they want things and and they're not clear some people have communication skills where they want to they want to express you know certain things to us some people are just not good verbalizers and it's okay if, it's, if you're not getting what this person's coming out like what the hell are they talking about you're, you're thinking in your head you know just nicely clarify you know because sometimes conversations can get lost Friendships can get lost when you're not understanding where they're coming from and just say, you know, could you be a little clearer on that? You know, I'm not, I'm not really understanding, you know, and, and then, you know, another thing also is to respond quickly. You know, when people like look for, you know, help and they look for things, Hey Marlene, how's it going? You know, they, you know, people don't want to be, you know, you know, if they reach out to you or if they, you know, text you if they call you if they you know if they're they're you know looking for your assistance if they email you try to respond quickly if you can i know we're all busy in our lives you know we get caught up with stuff but take time out to respond to your friends and your loved ones show them that you're listening that you care because the longer you keep them waiting you know the the, the more agitated people get and the more disrespected people feel so if people come out and they, they're asking you for something or there you know do you want to go out tonight do you want to go here you know we're hanging out here would you like to come don't keep them hanging on a string till the very last minute respond and show them that you know what you know even if they email you about something else just respond quickly don't keep people hanging because that's kind of you know it's a kind of turn off for people and people don't like that people kind of feel a little disrespected when people do that they won't say it but they actually do feel disrespected, you know, and also, you know, set calendar reminders. Like, you know, I tend to get very busy all the time. You know, I'm always, I always, I, I have a calendar planner and then I have a calendar desktop. Then I have my Google calendar and it's like, you know, because time just, you, you, you get pulled, you try to do a million things in one day and you overwhelm yourself. And then you really have to like focus on time management and priorities and do the best you can to do as many things things as you possibly can without burning yourself out because and so you know one thing I do is I set a list in my planner of the first most important things I got to get done and if I have appointments with people if I have to be places I write down the times because a lot of times if I don't remind myself and I don't look at that calendar I'll forget and then someone will call me or they email me hey weren't we supposed to go on zoom it's one o'clock and I'll be like 
my God, I forgot, you know? And then, you know, sometimes people can get upset because you forgot about them, you know? And that's the same thing with relationships and, and friendships and even clientele. You know, people don't like to be forgot about. People want, their, that's a lack of disrespect on their part. So try to keep do the best you can with keeping calendars, keeping notes, and you know, whatever works for you, because everybody's different. But for me, I keep a lot of notes and I keep a lot of calendars and I, I set my alarms and you know, I put up my Google calendars on just to remind myself because like everybody, we have busy, busy schedules. Everybody does, you know. And also don't be judgmental. You know, we're all we're all <laughs> victims of this. We all tend to be judgmental at times. But you know, I, I've learned over the years I you know not to be judgmental. And the one thing I do is to, you know, I kinda you have to kind of stop and think before you know, people will say, Oh, this person, that person, the, you know, look what that person did. I can't understand why they would do that, you know, look what they're wearing. You know, and you gotta kinda take yourself back. And, and put yourself through their shoes. You know, a lot of times, you know, you don't understand why people do what they do. But then if you could take yourself out of that gray box and then put yourself in someone else's shoes, and then if you know, you know, a lot about them or even some things about them, and you look, you think about how they, they, what things they went through in life, then you can understand sometimes why people do the things they do, why people say the things they say, it's because of the life they led, you know, the things they went through in life. And some people don't get that, you know, some people are like, you know, well, this is what I would do. You know, I don't get why they, you know, my way should be the right way. Well, no, everybody has their own thing. We're all individuals. And until you walk through someone's shoes and until you've gone through what someone else has gone through in life, you don't have a, the right to be judgmental because you don't know what they went through in life. They've come to these conclusions in life, especially as adults. We, we become who we are because of our past. Yeah, our past led us to the present, but you know, and this is, this is what, you know, so when you see people act the way they do, don't be judgmental. Stop for a second and try to think why they are the way they are. And maybe, and, and then have some empathy for them, you know, because sometimes, you know, we tend to, we tend to judge too quickly. We're a society that we're all about the looks. We're all about, you know, you know, um, trying to think that everybody should live our way. And that's the only way when everybody, you know, has the right to be who they are, what they want to be. And no one else should have to say anything. So, you know, you know, as long as the person's a good person and they're not harming you, you know, try not to be judgmental and just accept the person for who they are. And, you know, if you, ac you accept people, they're going to accept you. And, you know, people appreciate that when you can accept them for who they are and you're not judgmental and you don't throw out comments. Because sometimes we do throw out comments to people. You know, we think we're helping them, but we're actually hurting them. And what I've learned in life, too, is if someone doesn't ask you for help, you know, don't give them help. You know, you could, you know, you could offer it, you know, but don't give them, you know, don't push it on them. If they don't want it, then they're not going to ask for it. You know, you could always be there for when they, when they need it, but don't push your, your, your judgments and your opinions on people. And that helps relationships, you know, and you know, Hey, 19, how you doing? And also, make be very patient you know we are a society where we're not we're not patient individuals you know we tend to because we're always on the go we tend to be very impatient and as we get older our testosterone levels go down and we become even more impatient but you know try to have patience with people you know try to be understanding and even if someone frustrates you take a deep breath you know i talk about meditation do those silent breaths just take a deep breath and just just relax and try to be patient because you know what you're just, you're just stressing yourself out by not being patient and you know and your cortisol levels going up you're 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 not helping your health you know so you know try to be patient with yourself and try to be patient for, with others and when i say be patient with ourselves a lot of time we have goals and we can't get to those goals whether it be weight loss whether it be successful in the job that we're doing whether whatever it may be you know have patience if something's meant to be it's going to happen 
And that's how you have to look at it. Live for today. Enjoy your life because tomorrow we don't know what's going to happen. So be patient. Be patient with others. Enjoy life and focus on the present. You know, and I had one more thing about like, you know, focusing on eye contact. When you're talking to somebody, people, if you don't look at that person's eyes, they tend to have distrust. They automatically feel that, why isn't that person looking me in the eyes? They must not be honest. You know, people respect when you look them in the eye and you talk to them and don't mumble. You know, a lot of times people are mumblers. Hey, off, how you doing? And we, you know, and I know quite a few people, you know, and I joke around with some of them and it's like, okay, you know, yeah, talk slower and pronunciate better and a lot of times we mumble because we get excited and we're talking too fast and and the words aren't coming out right so relax be patient and express yourself express yourself and clearly and you know and and that helps because sometimes when people are mumblers you don't understand what the hell they're saying and you know it's it's laughable but you know a lot of times it just has to do with just you get overly excited and before you know it you're trying to you're you're trying to say all these things and you're kind of mumbling and falling over your words hey soccer mom how is it going and you know and laugh you know life it doesn't have to be so serious you know i've learned this over the years you know lots of stuff has happened to me but i just let i make jokes all the time i laugh i just focus on the positive things in life you know a laugh a day will keep the doctor away you know you just gotta just you know look at the good things in your life and just you know and just try to you know be funny and and enjoy others when they're funny and just laugh about it because you know if we take things too seriously it's just going to stress us out why do we need the stress you know every time problems come you know problems always get better along the way you know if you found that in the past that you've gone through triumphs you've always come through it you know you wouldn't be here on on this phone on this on this show with me right now you got through it, so enjoy life. Laugh about things. Take today as a day to just focus on the great things. Laugh with your friends. Your friends love when you're positive. Your friends love when you joke around. If Especially if you see somebody, one of your friends in a relationship, one of your friends that you're in a relationship with, if they're, they feel down and out, get them in a positive mode. Say a couple things to get them going. And then, you know, throw a joke or two in and just laugh about it. Because you know what? Life is not a bowl of cherries. And the more we laugh about things, the more we just take things with ease, the more we learn how to be patient, the better our lives will be. And that's what we got to focus on. You know, life is, is don't waste your life on, on being stressful. And, you know, people pick up these things and people, if you're positive, if you know how to, you know, talk to people and you look them in the eyes and, you know, and you know how to be, you know, laugh about things and be positive and, you know, you're not negative and, and pulling people down. People will want to be around you because they enjoy people like that you know, and that's what you got to do. And I just say, let it go, you know, just, Hey, Anthony, how's it going? Just let it go. You know, it's just, you know, things in life, we just, you know, we can't change what has happened. So just let it go. Just enjoy your life. And when you have relationships and someone pisses you off in the relationship and you get angry, why are you going to, you know, sometimes we get angry and we'll hold that anger for the rest of the night at that person, or we might not even talk to them the next day, or even in relationships or even in friendships, we might not even call them for a couple of days. Is it really worth it? You just, you just, you know, all that time that you just wasted, you'll never get back. That friendship, those, those 24 hours, those 48 hours, those 72 hours, however long you were upset, you'll never get it back. So why waste it? Just let it go. Let it go. Express how you feel in a nice way. If And sometimes you don't even have to express it because sometimes, you know what, it's better just to let it go and just move on, you know, and that helps relationships too. If it's not severe, then just let it go. Enjoy life. Laugh. Be happy. Be positive. You know, we only have one life here and today is Friday. Yes. And so we're going to enjoy Friday. We're going to enjoy the weekend. We're going to have a great time. And I wish you guys the best this weekend. And I love you guys. Hi, Casey. And hey, Anne. And I just, you know, I wish you guys a lot of, you know, fun time to, this weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. 
Thanks so much for joining me. I hope some of those tips helped you. Friendships and relationships are very important. We can't be alone in this world. We need people around us, positive people, happy people. And, you know, it, it takes two to tango. So it's not just them making the effort. We have to make the effort too. So with this, I say have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourself. Relax. Do what makes you happy. Laugh a little. Have a glass of wine if you, have, if you drink. You know, just do whatever makes you happy. And enjoy yourself. Happy Friday.